تسمعوني يا شباب اذا بدات تسمعوني ببدا البرزنتيشن السلام عليكم أتمنى أن يكون الصوت واضح نبدأ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نتكلم اليوم عن الأكسجين ثيرابي أو الأكسجين ديفايسز First of all I would like to thank our sister Azahra for preparing this presentation and giving me the opportunity to be the speaker instead of her So let's get started Our presentation will be, I will be talking about um, flow systems of the oxygen. Um, we have low flow system and high flow system. Um, I will talk about the concepts for everyone and what's the difference between them. And I will talk about uh, the clinical application for both of them. بعد كل نقطة تقريبا بوقف شوي حق اللي حاب يسأل أو يضيف مداخلة يعطيك العافية إلى الآن الصوت واضح زميل so, Law Flow System as we all we know the low flow system um, and the examples on it uh, we know the nasal cannula symbol face mask partial rebirth mask and non rebirth mask so low flow system basically will not move or will not exceed the patient's inspiratory flow demand because the flow is very low and the patient exceeds the oxygen flow device, the, uh, the device will not meet the patient's inspiratory flow. Uh, الصوت مو واضح يعني ممكن طيب كذا كويس بيكون التواصل عن طريق الشات كذا كويس Okay, so low flow system only provides part of the total flow. So the patient will get more than what we set in the flow meter. So for example, if we put the flow meter on three liters nasal cannula, the patient is getting more because the patient's inspiratory flow is higher and it's diluted with air. So the total flow will be from the oxygen, from the oxygen device, and from the room air. That's why we say it's diluted with air. The oxygen concentration for the device depends on the size of the reservoir. So nasal cannula has very low reservoir. It's only the cannula. And when we move to symbol face mask, 
it has more reservoir, which is the actual mask, partial breather and nano breather masks has more reservoir, which is the mask plus the reservoir bag. Next. The concept for high flow, it gives us the fixed flow system. Because the flow is very high and what we set in FiO2, the patient is getting it. لحظة شوية شباب في هنا سؤال أو في أحد يتكلم يقول إن ما ما دخل على الرابط أو يقول متى تبدأ؟ الأخت نورا أه أتوقع بما أنك داخل على الرابط الجديد أنت معنا في المحاضرة طيب نرجع حق البرزنتيشن معذرة So what we put on the oxygen um, uh, the oxygen device will deliver the high flow so the patient is taking higher than what the patient needs. Um, We have examples uh, on the high flow or fixed flow system, which is eventually mask and large volume nebulizer. Um, anybody has any question at this moment before I jump to the clinical practice or the clinical applications? Okay, variable flow systems. It's variable because the patient um, taking breath from the room air and from the oxygen device. So the FiO2 is not, is only estimate is not accurate. Our first example of low flow is nasal cannula. It gives us up to six liters per minute. It gives us roughly between 24 to 44% of IO2. So for every single one liter per minute, as we start, if we start with one liter, we are giving an estimate of, of IO2 24%. Moving to two liter per minute, FiO2 will be 28% until we reach the maximum, which is six liter per minute with an FiO2 of 44%. This device has um, advantage and disadvantage uh, one of the advantage for the for nasal cannula is comfortable. It allows the patient to eat, drink, and talk. Comparing to the masks, like symbol face mask, the patient has to remove it, take it off, eat, 
uh, drank or talk and uh, put it back. The oxygen um, supplied by nasal cannula at flow liter at four liter per minute or more has to be humidified. So less than three liter per minute. Uh, we don't need the um, humidifier, but uh, once we increase it uh, to four liter per minute, we have to add the humidifier um, to prevent uh, drying and irritation for the nose. If the patient has a nasal obstruction or and the patient is uh, considered a mouth breather, uh, nasal cannula will not be uh, the best choice for this patient. Simple face mask. A uh, simple mask provide 40 to 55% at flow meter between 5 to 10 liter per minute. Uh, depends on respiratory rate and uh, tidal volume and the flow rate of the patient. Uh, the mask has uh, two holes for the as exhalation ports uh, from uh, both sides. Um, flow rate should be minimum at uh, four lit uh, five liter sorry five liter per minute to wash out the CO two from the mask. For a long-term basis, a simple mask is not uh, is not our choice uh, because it causes skin irritation and pressure sores for the patient. Um, we don't have to he to add humidifier for simple face mask because it doesn't dry the mucous membrane in the patient. Partial breather mask looks like the simple face mask, but uh, with an addition of reservoir bag. And there is no one way valve between the mask and the reservoir bag. When the patient using a partial breather mask, um, at least one half of the bag uh, should be inflated um, at the end of inspiration. This mask give us uh, 60 to 70 percent with a flow of 8 to 10 liter per minute. So relatively uh, it's considered a high, fl uh, a high FiO2. It's useful in acute situation. Um, also, uh, we don't need to add a humidifier for this mask. Partial, partial breath mask. Oh, sorry, non breath mask is. The only the only difference between it and between the partial breath and mask is the um, one way valve and there's an extra valve on the exhalation board. So these um, the inspiratory valve or the valve between the mask and the uh, reservoir bag prevents the CO two uh, to go to the um, reservoir bag. So the uh, oxygen will not be mixed with CO2, so the patient is getting pure oxygen from the reservoir bag. And uh, on the oxalation part, there is um, 
there is a, a one-way valve also uh, um, to prevent room air from uh, entering inside the mask. So it, uh, we can give uh, a high FiO2. The flow for a non-breathal mask is 12 to 15 liter per minute, and it gives us or deliver to the patient an FiO2 70 to 100 percent. It's very useful in acute situation like an ER or ICU uh, if the patient has a sudden DSAT. Um, it's really helpful for um, um, CO poisoning because we can give the patient 100% oxygen to replace the CO binding to the hemoglobin. Um, it's useful for pneumothorax to uh, to replace the nitrogen uh, inside the pleural cavity uh, and uh, resolve the problem and also um, enhance the pulmonary blood flow in congestive heart failure patients. Again, uh, at the end of uh, inhalation, um, one third of the reservoir bag at least uh, should stay uh, open um, to prevent collapse during uh, the next uh, for the next breath. So um, at this moment, uh, I'm done with low flow system. So if anybody has any question. Uh, I will uh, open the microphone for you, or you can um, type it in the chat area. Um, I guess the best uh, option is to write in the chat area. Few more seconds. If anybody know, uh, doesn't have any question, I will move to the fixed flow system. Okay, um, high flow or fixed flow system, um, the most common one is Venturi mask. Um, Venturi mask gives the patient specific um, FiO2 with the mixture of uh, between air and oxygen uh, depends on the uh, jet, uh, in the barrel, the jet size, sorry, depends on the jet size and the barrel uh, the, of IO2 is determined. Um, and we have a uh, high flow, so uh, we are meeting the patient's inspiratory flow. It's reliable to give accurate uh, oxygen concentration. Um, for example, if the patient is tachypneic or high ventilating, and uh, we want to give a, a specific FIO2, for example, for COD, COPD patient, uh, we can use Venturi mask. We can increase the flow rate um, without changing the concentration of oxygen.
uh, uh, the hazard of uh, of the mask is it causing a skin breakdown or irritation to the skin. Air entertainment uh, nebulizer or large volume jet nebulizer. Um, this device uh, is designed for adult. And it gives the patient between 28 to 100% oxygen concentration. Um, it's reliable also up to 50% if we give the if, if we give the oxygen to the patient uh, up to 50%. Uh, this device is similar to Venturi mask, a plus we give um, a humidification uh, to the high flow system. And sometimes we can give uh, heat also if needed. So we can connect it or set it up with Aerosol face mask, tray color, face tent, and TVs. Um, for aerosol face mask, that's really helpful for patients with stoider. Uh, for tray color, for uh, tray color, I'm sorry, for tray patient, um, TVs uh, uh, for uh, tray patient as well. So I'm done with my presentation so far. Um, if anybody has any question, uh, I will open the mic and you can also type in the chat area. So any question so far? Or anybody uh, wants to add something? I didn't mention it. That's okay. So I'll go the difference between small volume nib and large volume nib. Um, a large volume uh, nebulizer gives um, oxygen من خلاله مع humidification. Uh, the small volume nebulizer is another story. We give uh, treatment with it, actually, like uh, albuterol or atrovent or anything. The the picture of small volume nebulizer is totally different than uh, large volume nebulizer and also the function for both of them is different okay so
Um, when do we need dry oxygen? Um, for example, if we give the patient, um, if we put the patient on nasal cannula, okay, hold on. So if we give the patient oxygen via nasal cannula um, up to three liter, uh, that's a dry oxygen and we give it to the patient. Uh, why we didn't add humidifier at this point? Because the patient has the humidification system in his nose. Uh, so the patient doesn't need any extra humidification. That dry oxygen is okay for the patient because of the humidification system in the nose. So we give a high FiO2 with a non breathal mask for a pneumothorax patient because there is a hole and the lung tissue causing the air or whatever moving to the pleural cavity. So when we give the oxygen, when we give 100% oxygen, the oxygen has a feature of um, absorption. So giving 100% oxygen to the patient will moving or replacing the nitrogen inside the pleural cavity causing a pneumothorax with 100% oxygen. If the, if the air or the volume inside the pleural cavity replaced with 100% oxygen, after a while, uh, the oxygen will be absorbed uh, through that uh, patient's tissue and the pneumothorax will resolve. Okay. Uh, by Nisbah the large volume nebulizer with, with a small volume nebulizer. Um, the small volume nebulizer, we give it uh, with a treatment for, for example, a ventolin or an albutal, let's say. Uh, we, we don't give it uh, because of uh, the FiO2 or the flow. We give it. We can give the treatment with medical air if the patient is not desatting. That's fine. We can give it with oxygen, of course. Uh, large volume nebulizer. We don't add any treatment. We don't add al albuterol. We we only give oxygen plus humidification. إذا كان سؤالك إن هل ال small volume نب يعطي fixed يعطي fixed if I auto or not إيه نعم the small volume نب doesn't give specific if I auto you are right no medications can be given with a large volume nebulizer
uh, what about high flow nasal cannula? A naam sahih, it's considered al um, uh, it's considered a high flow system, but it's not part of the large volume nebulizer. Uh, it's totally different. It's another story. Uh, the concept is different. Uh, the function is different. Uh, high flow nasal cannula is uh, is an, uh, rel relatively a new thing in the market. Um, and it's between any oxygen devices and the BiBab and CBAB machines. Uh, um, there is a study uh, between a, a high flow nasal cannula and um, a nanobreather mask, which one is better in ER uh, for acute situations. Um, the the winner was high flow nasal cannula uh, to believe uh, solve the um, hypoxemia in the patients, but it doesn't change anything uh, in the in terms of the uh, admission period, uh, morbidity or mortality rate. It's very helpful for uh, DSAT and severe hypoxemia patients. If the patient doesn't need, of course, uh, intubation and mechanical ventilation. Sometimes um, they uh, extubate the patient and put him on uh, high flow nasal cannula because the patient um, has low flow and kind of uh, hypopnea or hypoventilation. Um, I guess we are in the last uh, few minutes. So, um, um, the difference between them is not uh, a FIO2 as much as the flow. Um, FIO2 for non-breather 70 to 100 uh, percent. High flow nasal cannula we can deliver. Um, I'm not sure what's the minimum for FIO2, but the maximum it gives up to 100 percent uh, with a high flow. Uh, I think uh, minimum is uh, 20 liter per minute and the maximum is 80 liter per minute. Uh, you know, the flow for um, non-breather is only up to 15 liter per minute. Well, yes, you you put the FIO2 in the blender uh, in the high flow nasal cannula. So the FIO2 is determined by you as an RT, uh, not, uh, not an estimate with the flow. Uh, like in the um, non breather mask. So thank you, thank you, Mehdi. في سؤال أنا خطرته Magic box calculation got me sometimes confused. Well, I'm not sure I tell and how they talk about the presentation kind of mahdud al bona majatina forgot our brain digging a hag the presentation for his sub the magic box. No, I'm my own work. Neither I am. I tell them more of no higher presentation. Um, camel al maximum uh, flow rate high high flow nasal cannula up to 80 liter, 80 liter per minute. You're welcome.
يعطيكم العافية على الحضور والاستماع وشاكر جدا الأسئلتكم أنا اللي أعرف أن البرنامج يعطينا إلى أربعين دقيقة إحنا جاوزنا الآن الأربعين دقيقة ولازلنا في البرنامج فإذا عندك سؤال ما يمنعك والله Um, what's the contraindication for high flow nasal cannula? We didn't have a discussion about high flow nasal cannula or uh, concept or clinical applications. So, in fact, so far, I don't know any contraindication uh, for high flow nasal cannula. Plus, what's uh, it's considered as a contraindication for uh, the regular nasal cannula, which is uh, nasal blockage. عادي يعني الواحد يسأل أسئلة عادي ما في مشكلة بس يعني داخل الموضوع ممكن أجاوبك برا الموضوع إذا السؤال واسع وإذا أنا ما أعرف لا ما أعرف يعطيكم العافية على الحضور والاستماع شكرا